Hello, you're watching At The Bench with Norton Biotech. Today, we will provide a tutorial on the step-by-step -step workflow of the cytoplasmic and nuclear RNA purification kit, product number 21,000, for cells growing in suspension and lifted cells. To avoid contamination of samples, sterilization of your work area and instruments using 1% bleach followed by wiping down with 70% ethanol is recommended prior to starting. Your kit includes a detailed product insert, lysis buffer J, buffer SK, wash solution A, elution buffer E, spin columns, collection tubes, and 1.7 milliliter elution tubes. Before you begin, make sure to pop your lysis buffer J in a minus 20 degrees Celsius freezer for 10 to 15 minutes and remove just before use. This is to ensure the separation of cytoplasmic and nuclear RNA. Step 1. Cell Fractions Preparation Transfer your cell suspension to an RNA's free tube and centrifuge at no more than 200 G or 2000 RPM for 10 minutes to pellet the cells. Carefully decant the supernatant. A few microliters of media may be left behind with the pellet in order to ensure that the pellet is not dislodged. Add 200 microliters of ice cold lysis buffer J to the pellet. Lyse cells by vortexing for 15 seconds. Ensure that the pellet is completely dissolved before proceeding to the next step. Using a pipette, Transfer the lysate to an RNA's free microcentrifuge tube. Spin the lysate for 10 minutes at maximum speed in a benchtop centrifuge. Using a pipette with a small tip, transfer the supernatant containing the cytoplasmic RNA to another RNA's free tube. The nuclear RNA fraction, the pellet, is very viscous and could be loose. Therefore, it is highly recommended to use a smaller pipette tip for transferring the cytoplasmic fraction to avoid dislodging or transferring the nuclear RNA fraction into the cytoplasmic fraction. If nuclear RNA extraction is desired, Retain the pellet containing the nuclear RNA. A few microliters of lysis buffer J may be left behind with the pellet in order to ensure that the pellet is not dislodged. Continue immediately to step two. Step 2A, binding cytoplasmic RNA to the column. Add 200 microliters of buffer SK to the supernatant cytoplasmic RNA fraction from the previous step. Mix by vortexing for 10 seconds. Add 200 microliters of 96 to 100% ethanol to the mixture. Mix by vortexing for 10 seconds. Apply the mixture onto a spin column that has been assembled with a collection tube. Centrifuge for 1 minute at 3500 G or 6000 RPM. Discard the flow through and reassemble the spin column with its collection tube. Step 2B, binding nuclear RNA to the column. Add 400 microliters of buffer SK to the pellet nuclear RNA fraction. Mix by vortexing for 10 seconds. Add 200 microliters of 96 to 100% ethanol to the mixture. Mix by vortexing for 10 seconds. Apply the mixture onto a spin column that has been assembled with a collection tube. Centrifuge for one minute at 3500 G or 6000 RPM. Discard the flow through and reassemble the spin column with its collection tube. Step three, column washing. Apply 400 microliters of wash solution A to the column and centrifuge for one minute. Discard the flow through. Repeat the step two more times for a total of three washes. 
Spin the column for two minutes in order to thoroughly dry the resin. Discard the collection tube. Step four, RNA elution. Place the column into a fresh 1.7 milliliter elution tube provided with the kit. Add 50 microliters of elution buffer E to the column. Centrifuge for two minutes at 200 G or 2000 RPM. Followed by one minute at 14,000 G or 14,000 RPM. Step five, storage of RNA. The purified RNA sample may be stored at negative 20 degrees Celsius for a few days. It is recommended that samples be placed at negative 70 degrees Celsius for long-term storage. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give us a like and subscribe. And remember to follow us on all of your favorite social media platforms. See you next time at the bench.